for those of you sitting sitting in the audience, want to know what uh, what those are for you. So as as uh, both Bonnie and and Alex spoke, when you guys came here nine months a year, however long it was ago, one of the things that we first talked about was goals. What goals do you have? What goals are you going to achieve? How are you going to lock those in? How are you going to kind of make sure that that happens for you? So I want to talk about some of what those were and, and let everybody know what you did to achieve those. So first off, some of you will recognize for student leadership positions. I could have been a shop leader, a class leader, a resident assistant, uh, a, a tutor, a, a, a Eagle Tech, any number of student leadership positions. And many of these students participated in weekly meetings uh, helped plan and promote activities, organize things for the student body, and generally just agreed that they would be willing to take on that leadership role to help out their fellow classmates. So thank you all who took, took part in those student leadership positions. Many of you will have also um, said that, that one of your goals was to achieve honor graduate to have a 4.0 GPA. That's a difficult goal, a difficult thing to achieve. I'd like to invite all of you who, who accomplished the honors, honors graduate at 4.0 to stand at this point. Congratulations, great job. And some of you may, you, you may have to do the up and down thing here again, but Another goal that, that some of you have set was National Technical Honor Society. So graduates who are in National Technical Honor Society not only have that 4.0 GPA, but also have outstanding attendance and have been nominated by an instructor. Stand up National Technical Honor Society. Congratulations. And last but not least, we have students who truly have taken on the leadership role, students who have become a peer mentor, students who have been nominated by an instructor and have shown that they're willing to, to help others achieve their goals as well. And those are our Eagle Techs. So if you're in Eagle Tech, please stand up. These are the student leaders of the school. Thank you. Before, before we get on with the part you're all waiting for to cross the stage, I want to take just a, a quick moment to let everybody in the audience know uh, about some of the other things that this group has achieved. So we know about the great technical achievements, about the great skills they've learned. We just talked about some of the honors that you'll hear as they cross the stage. But one of the things that, that we take pride in and hope that you all take pride in as well is some involvement in the community. Our students have done a lot of volunteer work. It's something that, that we're proud of in this community, and we hope that students take back with them. Uh, it, it, it demonstrates the character of our students, and it's, it's a great benefit both to you personally and to your communities as you go back. So if you, if you think back over the course of the last nine months or year, uh, in, in the springtime, we had a massive community cleanup in the summertime, Jubilee Days, in the, the fall time, ghost tours. In, in the winter time, you guys participated in a Toys for Tots fundraiser where we brought in over $5,000. So I want, I want you all in the audience to know that this group is, is part of a group that has served the community for over 8,000 hours just in, in this last year. So a round of applause for that. In the last quarter, you all have helped 21 local organizations for almost 1,400 hours. So truly, thank you for your participation, for your involvement. And I hope that you guys do take that spirit of service, that integrity, and some of those, those additional life skills that, that you guys have been through while you've been at WildTech back to your communities. 
one, one last recognition here. So there are some of you who've truly gone above and beyond. Some of you uh, sitting right here that have over 40 hours of volunteer work since you've been a student. So if I call your name, stand quickly, and I know some of, some of you aren't here, but uh, Ray Atos, I, Isaiah, Sir, and stay standing if you do it, Ray. So Isaiah Cervantes Martinez, Matt Coulter, Robert Davis, Jessica Dean, Megan Dean, Keith Ellerbach, Greg Flores, Jacob Lane, Brandon McCoy, Chase Meeker, Devin Salvante, Ashley Michelle, Michael Mason, Bodie Parker, Russ Shower. These students truly, truly have gone above and, the, above and beyond when, when organizations and individuals in this community have needed help. You've answered the call. So thank you. Congratulations. All right, now it's really that time. It's time to cross the stage. 